Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, we are just getting loaded with recycled 6F5. And we've got to take it to Barton Park in, um, in Barton. <laughs> um, never been there before, so it's going to be interesting uh, to try and find it. Um, I've got a rough idea where it is on the sat-nav, but... Um, yeah, like I said, I've never been there before. And uh, it just says Barton Park. And the company I want is Flat Base, CO Hills. So, yeah, um, we're going to head there in a minute when we're loaded. I've got to have a break first because it's actually um, lunchtime on Thursday. <laughs> so I'm going to um, have a break and then I'm going to make my way there. And uh, I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Okay, you now join me after my lunch, um, and we're just about to find this Barton Park. <laughs> um, it looks like a massive, 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 like, new build area for, for, for Oxford, which is where we are, we're in Oxford. Um, I've had a look on, like, Google, Google Maps and that, and, um, yeah, it looks like a massive area. It does look like, though, that it's cordoned off at the crossroads, so, yeah. We will see. We need to start keeping an eye out because um, we, we need to turn left, basically, in about a mile's time. Uh, the crossroads or junction uh, is where I ideally want to be turning left. But if it is cordoned off, then there may be another entrance further on down. Um, but yeah, also it looks so massively big as well that um, I think I'm going to be like looking around for a while until I find the place that I want. Um, I've got to look for Hill, which I believe is the housing association, or the, the company that's building the houses. A bit like Taylor Wimpy, or like Bloor Homes, or Barrett Homes, and stuff like that. I think it's Hill, Hill Homes. And I think they got like a black logo. And then we're delivering it to Flatbase, um, which is the company operating in it. Anyway, these, these lights coming up here. Is this where I want to be turning left? If I can turn left, I don't know if I can. Yeah, it's Barton Park left. Okay. Okay, hill. That's what we want. So we're in the right area. <laughs> we now just got to try and find the uh, the company in question. Flat base. Flat base. So um, I'll go around first, have a little look around, as I always do. If I can't find them, then I'll, I'll call them, because I've got a contact number. And uh, if then I ain't got any hope, then um, it'd be calling the office. But first things first, we've got to try and find flat base. According to the sat-nav, we are now in a field. So I've got no uh, navigation. Could it be for him? Excuse me, mate. I don't suppose you know where flat base are, do you? Flat base? Yeah. Yeah, but go around. Go around, yeah? Yeah. And it's a... You see where is the site there. It's a flat base. Flat base. Where is the gates. It's a big panel. Flat base. But right. go around, yeah? Yeah. Here, left, go around. Yeah? So I need to turn around, all right? Yeah. All right, mate. Right. So now I've got to try and find somewhere to turn around. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come in this way, thinking about it. This looks like a relatively well-built up area. I'll take it nice and steady. Ah. We'll, uh, we'll turn around here. Nothing behind me. It might even be up there, I don't know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take his word for it because he seemed he seemed very sure. He seemed very sure. But that doesn't mean he's right. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna go back out of here, turn left, and like I said, it looks like there's another entrance like half a mile down the road on the left. So left and left again, right, let's go. Okay, it looks like new builds are going up behind those trees. Arrive at your destination at 203 p.m. 
I don't think it's this one here, it's the, the next one. I'm gonna get on over anyway. Yeah, I can't get in there. So maybe it's this one. So again, we've got hills, so that's good, that's a good start. Flat base, flat base construction services. Right. Is there anyone in the, the gatehouse? No. Right. Hill deliveries left, Red Road deliveries diagonally right, and B and K deliveries right. I'm none of them. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's going to be in there. That's, uh, it might be down there, I don't know. Red Road Deliveries. No, I got Hill Deliveries. It says Hill on the paperwork. So, ah, Hill Site Entrance straight on, okay. I'll go straight on. I said I've never been here before, so it's all new. I'm trying to find it. And some of these sites are absolutely massive. Ah, flat base site left. Okay, that's good. Hill deliveries left. Hill site straight on. Credit where credit's due, they've got some nice signs up. Right. Flat base site right, site delivery is right. So I think we should go right. Aha, I reckon it's in here. I reckon it wants to go here. Is he gonna stop and talk? Yeah, I think he's pointing to me. I think he's pointing where I just said. Brilliant. A little bit cautious about the ground. That's right. That is exactly the same stuff there that we got. So we're going to tip it right here. Brilliant. Let's undo the sheet as well. I don't know who's going to sign my ticket. But he must have been expecting me because as soon as he saw me, he pointed here and then gave the uh, the tipper movement. Like he was like, tip. And as soon as I saw that, that looked like where it was going to go as well. So it's the same stuff that we're delivering. Excellent. Wait for the bang. There we go. There's a digger driver over there. Might see if he can sign it. A little bit tight. Are we going to make that? I think we will. I think we're going to make it. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna budge over a little bit so people can get past me. Need to check for rocks and stuff as well. And I need to find someone to sign it for me. So, ending off, I'll take my pen with me just in case, because you never know. Some people don't have pens with them, it really annoys me. Carry a pen. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take the paperwork, I'm gonna go and find someone to get this signed, clean the back of the tailboard up, and uh, see you in a bit. Okay, we are uh, the tip. Uh, just got the paperwork signed, but that's literally what we just delivered there. I don't know if you can see, but that's what I was worried about the ground. It's a bit of a dip here, uh, which is why I reversed in over there and uh, tipped over there. But uh, yeah, we're all tipped. Uh, just need to do the sheet up a little bit more. The tailboard is uh, all locked up. So I'm now going to go on and do the rest of my. Uh, deliveries today which is what you saw yesterday or when I say yesterday I mean the last vlog 
So I'm going to crack on now. Ugh. Crack on with the next uh, job. And I will see you in a bit, which will be a different day, but we're doing different stuff. See you in a bit. Morning, welcome to the second day of this vlog. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed what you just saw, where I was uh, tipping in that place with, what was it, I had? 6F5 recycled, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> anyway, today we're in Andover. Uh, our first job is to go to the Arcade building in well, uh, Wellworth Business Park. We are loaded with 12 tonne of sharp sand. And uh, yeah, we've got to deliver it to a company called All Screeds. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when we get there, we'll find out. There's uh, This is the same site that I went to where I had the argument with the digger driver for uh, overloading me. Same site. Uh, the only difference is, rather than picking up from that company, we're delivering to another company, because obviously more than one company operate on one site. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, when we finish tipping there, we then got to go and pick up Muddle Day from a site around the corner, Taylor Wimpy site, which I have been to uh, in the past in uh, quite a few videos. Well, actually, I think just one video previously. I'm going to go up this way. I was going to go, well, sat nav says go straight on, but I know this way is better, so I should go this way. Well, this is where I know anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're going to um, hopefully get this tipped off nice and quick. Uh, I'm hoping the guy on the gate can uh, direct me to the right place. We shall see. But yeah, normally I come in from the other direction because we come off the A3A3, but uh, I've come straight from the yard this morning, so um, I haven't gone on the 383 yet. I'm gonna go left here. I've got enter via South Way, which is down here. Excellent. That car, what's that? What's that car doing down there? Is he turning around? He is, so I'm going to have to wait for him. No, he's parking up. Yeah, he's parking up. Brilliant. He looks a little bit like, um, what's his name? David. David? The one who does the documentaries on animals. Is it David? I can't remember. Oh, it's really bugging me now. It's not David, is it? Yeah, it is. David Attenborough. That's the one. <laughs> Right, this site here on the right, look. So, how do we get in? No. We've got a vehicle coming out. While uh, all screeds, Glen Car construction. Will do, mate. See anything behind me? No, I can't. The sun was shining on the uh, display. He's just asked me to back up a little bit. We had loads of room to get out, but never mind. While we're waiting, we'll um, do the sheet. Today's Friday. And um, doubly good for me because I've not got two days off, I've got three days off. <sighs> because Monday is my birthday. Look, if he's going right, why don't I even need to go back for? <laughs> even he's going. Wow, that was pointless. Morning, mate. You got a little sharp sand for all screed. A little sharp sand for all screed. Top side, I think. Where's that? They said Southway entrance on the ticket. You got their phone number? Uh, it says Allscreed CO Glencar Construction, uh, a car Southway entrance. Yeah, they are up the top. They finished this one in here. Yeah. And they're still working up top. Right. That I do know. So rather than tip it in the wrong place, chaos. Yeah. You go up to the top side, basically round to the right. Yeah. Then up, go next left. And on the left-hand side, it's called Flinders Close. 
and that's where the top site is. Okay. At least that way you get the right info. Yeah. If they tell you it's down here, I can guide you to where the other lot was chipped before. Yeah. But I honestly don't know. Okay. But I do know that the team are up there working. So go up there, turn right, and then left. Right round the bend, then go left, and it's Flinders close on your left hand side. All right, mate. No worries. Can I go in and turn around in here? Ah, uh, yeah, can do, mate. Yeah, that'd be spot on. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make that. I'm not going to make that turn. There's a low loader behind me, so I couldn't go too far back. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Cheers, mate. All right, so let's try and find the top bit. Up here, turn right. And on the left. Did you say Finlay's Close or something? Yeah. Leading to Finlay's Close. Car behind me is following me as well. There's Finlay's Close. It also says no deliveries. So the ticket says Southway entrance, but he seems to think it's up here somewhere. How do we get in then? There's bloody gates everywhere. That says car park only, that says vans only, that says Ocado LGV only. So you'd think left, but there's people working out there. Right, I'm going to have to make a phone call. He's not even sure where it is, but uh, we're going to go up here anyway. Put my beacons on. Which one are you opening? This one. So we're actually driving through the car park. That's why I've got my beacons on. I don't know which way to go. We could go this way. Bloke on the left is saying go round here and on the left. You just gotta be careful because you're going around a one-way system and you've got a bloody lamppost in the middle of the road. <laughs> What a stupid place for a lamppost! Right, how are we getting in? Here we go. Of course, you can't see any of this from back down there. All I need is someone to actually talk to me. See, so he's from All Screeds. So he would have been a good person to ask if he was on the driver's side. I'll ask these guys down here. Well, right, guys. I got a uh, load of sharp sand for all screeds. Sharp, maybe for ground or this? No, if you ask, then right there. Down there, yeah? yeah right, the but, okay, mate. This is where you just get passed on from bloke to bloke. He's got a can rolling. All right, mate. All right, buddy. 
I've got a load of sharp sand for all squeeds. Sharp sand. Put the right on now. Comment for me. Now we're just going to wait here. And it's time to go back down the bottom. It's not for us, it's for the Andrea. Look there, why is the digger asking there? Yeah, it's for all squeeds. No, it's AM pegs. Uh, well, my paperwork says it's for Another all squeeds. Look, where is the digger? You see the digger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, somewhere there asking, please. Okay, alright. So he doesn't want to help me out. <laughs> right. If this, if these guys don't know anything about it, then I'm gonna have to make a phone call. Sorry mate, I got 12 tonne of sharp sand, someone down there said is it for you maybe, it says, it, on my paperwork it just says it's for all for squeeds, index. pardon? For index? Uh, all squeeds, all squeeds Glencar is what it says on the paperwork. For green car? Yeah yeah, all squeeds Glencar. Uh, they know nothing about it so, sharp sand yeah, pardon? All squeeds yeah. Yeah, yeah. South way, south way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so they're sitting down the bottom. Where I was earlier. So all this could have been avoided. All of this could have been avoided. How am I going to get out of here? That's a bit tight. Yeah, a bit tight. Get around it in one go. Yeah. Now, is this gate going to open for me? That's the question. Yes. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. This happens quite often. You just get sent from place to place. One, they, like it's like no one wants anything to do with it. Do you know what I mean? So they go, yeah, 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 go see him. And then they go, yeah, 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 go see him. And they go, yeah, no, it's not for it. It's for that first bloke you saw. I might get here in a minute. <laughs> no, my luck. They'll be like, no, definitely not here. Anyway, I'm going, I'm going to this south way. And I'm going to say, yeah, they said it's down here. Because the bloke on the gate said if he's wrong, then they'll uh, it just let me tip, didn't he? Time's getting on as well. And then here we go again for the second time today. Hello. What they say? They said to down here. I'm sorry about that, but I was only actually trying to help because they. Eh? Yeah, no, that's all right, mate. Why didn't, why didn't the idiot leave me a message and say, by the way, we've got a sand delivery coming, can you get it tipped up there? Yeah, I spoke to about six different people up there. I kept getting passed on and on and on. And the last one said, yeah, down here, so. And it doesn't actually help that their grasp of English isn't very good. No, yeah, exactly. Are you taking muck away or are you just in and tip? Just in and tip this and then I'm off. Right, follow me, sir. Will do.
through the double gates, if you go forward, yeah. you'll see to the right hand side where they had the last lot of sand. Okay. And you reverse in there looking over your right shoulder. Brilliant. Alright mate. All right, mate. Thank you very much. So I think it's just here, look. Yeah, just down there. Okay. Not a problem, we shall tip there. But it's so annoying, like the paperwork says South Way, which is this entrance. It says South Way entrance on the paperwork. I said that to the gateman, South Way entrance. But he still wanted to send me around. Right, she. Let's go. Yeah, it's just um, that was a lot of hassle that could have been avoided, to be honest. I'm just going to go check it's all clean at the back. Not that it matters too much because we're taking muck away next. So it doesn't have to be clean. No, no muck away. Oh, someone just asked me if I was taking muck away. Uh, A little bit of sand on the uh, body. The muck might take that out, but I'm just going to give a give the tailboard a bang. There we go. I got that bit out. Excellent. Like I said, I've been here before taking, taking away muck away, so that's why people are asking if I'm taking muck away or not. The answer is no. So now, need to get a signature still. I'm hoping the bloke on the gate can sign. He used to sign for the muck that was taken away. Everyone's asking me if I'm taking muck away. I'm just reversing into it so I can get out. Those guys there. Alright. Ah, Just put JH, I don't give a Oh, that's mine. There we go, buddy. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much for that. Right, we're done. We'll put a seat back on and uh, we'll go right just to make it easier for this Arctic. Okay, now we go to the next job. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll see you a little bit later on in the day. Because um, I need to charge my GoPro up, so I ain't got enough battery. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, we are in Andover again, 
and uh, yeah, we're about to get loaded with a load of muck from a Taylor Wimpy site. Like I said earlier, we've um, we have been to this site before in the past. Uh, I can't remember exactly what video it was on, but I have definitely been to this site. But I don't, I don't know if I did get it on video. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's been an alright day today. Sun's out. Good way to the right. There we go. Yeah, so we um, it's 20 past 11 in the morning now. We're going to get this load on and then we're going to go and have a break. Um, this load is going to be load six for the day. So it's not too bad. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change, don't change. Brilliant. Yeah, so this is going to be load number six. We're down for 10. So in theory, we've got four more to do after lunch. I think we'll do that. Even though we had a late start, I think we can do that. No problem. One of the other blokes was saying that we, that we might not be able to do all of them, but I think I think we will. So anyway, construction traffic this way. Go around this roundabout. It's quite funny because when <laughs> when I first turned up to this site, the digger driver started talking to me, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> first time that the digger driver's actually been on the same CB channel <laughs> so it took me by surprise but yeah right let's go around here a couple of times it's been quite tight around here with uh, a dumper truck and a van parked next to each other and that digger keeps moving as well I guess he's coming down here keep getting out up by that little digger try past me while you're pulling in you're pulling in Right. Oh god, we've got an Arctic coming out now, look. Got a car behind me. Hopefully he's gonna pull in. Not try to overtake. Let's let this Ar Arctic come out. Arctic with an urban trailer. For those of you who don't know what an urban trailer is, it's a slightly smaller length trailer. Normally uh, one or two axles on the back rather than three. Ideal for getting into tight situations like sites. Uh, that urban trailer's got two look. It's also got um what do you call it? Thing on the back. Forklift. Um what do you call that? Uh ah it's really bugging me now. Oh my god, it's bugging me, I can't remember what it's called. Moffit, that's it. That's the one, Moffit. Alright, go around here. One of our drivers are getting loaded already, look. That's where we're getting loaded from that digger on the right. If we keep going, he's going to pull in for us. Excellent. Where's that car? Is it still behind me? Can't see it now. It is still behind me. Just got to be careful a second because I need to turn around. He's going to be right behind me. Hazard's on, just to let him know that, that there's going to be a, a manoeuvre taking place. car is just yeah this now down the left hand side didn't even stop just carried on following me in he's now making that forklift moves there we go round we go round we go round we go go I'm gonna let him go first I'm not in a rush matey boy still getting loaded that is close to falling off. <laughs> Don't know if you saw that. It wasn't even strapped down to that pallet. I'm just wobbling around. Oh, look at that. Look. Perfect timing. Our bloke's now coming off. We're going to go straight on the digger. Uh, There we go, he just beeped his on. That's it. Take your seatbelt off. Uh, paperwork is already done. We're self signing this. Yeah, he's asked us to self sign. Uh, we're still giving it to him, handing it to him, but um, 
he wanted us to self sign it so so he ain't got to basically <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna get this on last load on the video and then we're gonna go and get it tipped off uh we're taking it back to fruxton again so you've seen fruxton a few times now i don't think it's gonna be long until it's complete you know that that bank that we're building for the racetrack it's all good happy days let's uh let's show you some stuff So it is getting loaded. I haven't got my body up yet, so I don't actually know how much is in there. But I also know that he um, puts a few buckets in, so there's no rush. There we go. So if I just show you some controls. So down here is my PTO. That switch there. So if I put that on, you're going to hear a noise now. Hang on. <laughs> he says. I need to take it out of gear. So in neutral. PTO on, there we go, and then that there is my lever, that's now in the middle, and if I pull it up, I'm just going to wait for the digger to move, there we go, and now the body is up, I'm just going to switch the PTO off, and then that gets rid of the noise, but yeah, um, so you can't quite see the load as well now, you can see a little bit, but that's how much weight we got. So at the moment we've got about 9.8 almost. I think uh, it's quite a small bucket. It's only like a ton bucket, I think. We'll find out. 9.8 goes to... Almost 11. So yeah, it's just over a ton. Like, uh, like 1,100 kilograms, 1,200 kilograms per bucket. So... Yeah, it's not not a massive bucket. Should go to like 12.3 or something. There we go. Almost 12.3. Brilliant. I'll show you one more. And you can just about see them through my back window as well, look. So yes, that's that. That sounds quite bright, you know. Okay, we're on 14.6, exactly. Two more buckets, we should be done. That's the first one. No, we need more than two buckets. Don't know why I said two buckets. <laughs> Simple maths and I can't do it. <laughs> We're at 16 ton. We're at 17, just yeah, just over 17 now. So we'll make this next one the last one, I think. Yeah, this will be the last one. Bucket it down or body down. Now he's gonna flatten it all off. There we go. This digger driver is a decent digger driver. Okay, and we're just gonna jump on out. Ugh. He's got a cool helmet. It's one of those um, less we forget military sort of style uh, helmets with like soldiers in like shadows and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Looked awesome. Mate, you're getting very close to that. Um, I'm just going to put hazards on and stop here a sec so Matey Boy can overtake me. Put my sheet on. There we go. Ugh. Good to go. Uh, be hazards off, not beacons. Actually, hazards are off and beacons are off. Ha ha ha. Go around here. Oh, that digger's there again, look. Uh, is that something in the road? Sure, yeah, we can get around that. Just need a digger driver to move. <laughs> Where are you going then, mate? 
Are you tuck it in on the right, yeah. Make sure I don't hit anyone, don't run over the pile. There we go. Ha, oh, yes. Oh, that sounded a little bit like Churchill the dog then, didn't it? Oh, yes. Right. Let's uh, go and get this offloaded, and um, and then we'll be done for the video. Just to make sure it's clear to the right. Yes, it is. Go with the flow. Keep the motion going. Yes. Right. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. We are now here in Thruxton. We are just making our way towards the track. And uh, yeah, so this is going to be um, the last tip for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's uh, been a good couple of days actually. Today's been alright. Other than uh, faffing around this morning, we were trying to find um, where to tip it. And in the, in the end, tipping it at the bottom. I actually had a phone call from the office about 30 minutes ago saying, well, asking who signed for it. And uh, I said, well, the gate man told me to put uh, RH on it. <laughs> so it's going to come in handy, this video, if uh, if anything said about you just tipped it where, where you wanted to tip it. No, I was told where to tip it. <laughs> That's what I did. So, yeah, here's the track again, look. All this is going to be completely filled in. Normally what happens is the dumper driver will park in such a way that he uh, is essentially telling you where he wants it, but it doesn't seem to be doing it. So, just gonna go back. Okay, he might, he now, ugh, he might now be telling me where he wants it. No, he's going, he's going forward again. So, as soon as he's out of my way, I'm just gonna tip it behind them. Okay, gonna have to tip it there because it's starting to get a bit soft. Up we go! Oh, there's a helicopter behind us landing. You can't see it, but there is. There we go, that noise is so annoying. It doesn't do it in the Scandios, it's only the DAFs. Well, only this truck as far as I'm aware. Like, I don't know if the other ones do it, the other DAFs. Maybe I'll have to ask. Didn't hear a bang. It's a slight bang. Uh, uh, um. And there we go, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna jump out now and uh, Double check it is all nice and clean on the back. Make sure the the locks are locked up, and uh, carry on with the rest of the day. Like I said, I've got four more runs and he doing. So, but yeah, for this video, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give a thumbs down. Um, but yeah, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe, drive safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.